how fast the conditions change in Louisiana. Two hours ago, pouring down rain, overcast, rain forecast all day today and tomorrow. It's a beautiful day. Sun shining. And I made a statement on this machine here that I'd have to wait till it quit raining to work on it. Well, I'm fixing to go to work on it. What I'm going to do right now is in put together everything I can in the shed and go out there and find a place for it. I've got my tape handy. It, 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 the thing is, this board right here gives you the lengths, centimeters, so you can actually use it as a tape measure. Uh, it gives you directions on both sides. And this is what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to take this thing right here, put what I can together in here, and I'm going outside for the rest of it. Uh, like I said, like I said the other day, it's a very simple, very simple uh, mechanically wise. Now, with the uh, setting up the the uh, electronic part, I'm gonna have to have help. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I'm not that good with that, but I have friends that have things I to do. So I'm gonna put all this together that I can inside, and then go out there and start trying to find a place to install it. But it'll tell you right quick. Don't put it close to a water pipe. Don't put it close to anything metal. So <laughs> you've got to have so much distance between anything metal and it's just going to be a lot of fun, people. A lot of fun. Now, get all this together that I can. Uh, and, and go out there. The funny, the, the real funny part of this is, look, if you can see it, it shows you, I mean, there's no way you can make a mistake. It shows you the Velcro. You have three Velcros where you can tape this card to your, your stand. Uh, over here it shows you the Velcro. All right. So it's very simple. It's just a matter of time and getting in that yard when it's not raining. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. So take that. And I reckon this goes like this. I have no idea what that is. I better try to find out here. Now. Okay. Let me do some studying. I'll be right back. Now, I figured out where that little piece goes. It goes on the end. And here, here is the assemble. Ready to go. Now, all I have to do now is take this little jewel right here, which is the transmitter, and do this and screw it on here. Like I said, it's extremely simple, people, mechanically. Now, that's on there. Now, the rest of it would be take and screw your, your cable from here to the machine right here and get, get this plugged in. It's simple. So now, I'm going to go outside and start trying to make measurements. And this is where the fun starts. It can't be close to a water pipe. It can't be close to metal. You got air conditioning units. You got outdoor faucets. It just so happens the post on my front porch are aluminum. It's gonna be fun. Okay, I found a place. Hopefully, that's metal free. There's a metal ground rod right there, about seven feet around the corner. There's my air conditioner. Now my front porch. Those columns are actually aluminum. I got them because I don't like wooden posts. They tend to rot over a period of years. Now the thing is, I got this in the ground. I took my level, because it says plum, plum, not plum sung, plum it plum. So you're good that way, and we're good that way. So that takes care of that. 
Now, I'm gonna bring the machine out here and I'm gonna try my best to set the machine up right here, the, the charging pad. And I can jump the cord from there up to the signal underneath, right underneath here, the little black thing you're looking at right there. And that'll bring the signal from there to the charging pad. And also to the machine on top, the receiver. It's gonna take a minute or two or so. I'll be back in a minute. All right, to get it level this way right here, I had to take a shim, a very, a very thin shim, about maybe a half inch, and I slid it under. Now, it'll walk up on that. I want it to come up level. Now, it's, it's tilted. The charging pad is tilted back this way a little bit. It's tilted down this way. That's no problem. When the machine walks on, it'll walk right on up and slide into the... Uh, the mail part right there. And that's what I wanted to do. As long as the machine is tilted this way, the machine will dock heavy, good. Tilt it the other way, and it might not dock all the way and it won't charge. So set up right here. All I'll have to do is go in the back, run the cable up to here. From there, run it across the ground right around the edge of the uh, ground right there. All the way over, come over here and plug it in right there. That should give me everything I need. And the machine is basically camouflage, you know, from the living area of the house. Now, here's the thing. I hope I got enough distance from this aluminum and the pipe around the corner. If that's not the case, we'll see. If I'm lucky, maybe I could just move it over a little bit to clear that, because I got quite a bit of distance from here to there. All right, here I go again. Okay, now I'm getting ready to anchor this charging port to the station to the ground. Now they sent these. It's kind of hard to see in the sun. They don't drive in the ground, they screw into the ground. Uh, actually, here's the range to screw them with, and he here's the ones you screw. They sent eight, I need six. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this right now. Now do I have that base anchored to the ground pretty solid. Now what I'm doing now is I'm gonna run the antenna wire from, from the base to the uh, thing there. I'm gonna run it fix it, get it up. Now the only thing you gotta watch when you're on the bottom, you take your wire and go in underneath. That way, when these wires are in place, you can close this. It's, you speed them in from the hole underneath. That keeps water and moisture out. Oh, I just pulled the thing back out. Now in that pack, you have little pegs where you can reroute, you can route your card and anchor it. Now, I'm going to hang, anchor it around the edge, right straight up over here, up the pole. And you got Velcro to hook the wire to the pole. And I'll roll all the slack, all the extract, the excess up, and hook it to the bottom of the pole. Now, one reason I did this right here, there's not many kids going to run through this rose bush. If they do, they won't run through it at one time. <laughs> it won't tangle. Now, I said not many kids would run through this rose bush. But a lot of them will step on this wire. So I got a piece of basically rubber. I'm putting it on there. I'm going to put it on there like so. And then I'm going to wrap it with this Velcro. Now this come off an old bicycle handlebars. I don't throw anything away. Been in the shed for Lord knows how long. But I'm going to protect that cord with that. As I stated, and while I'm thinking about it, I need to mention this. Ever plug, notice the configuration. Notice that configuration. There's almost, you can't. There's no way you can hook it up backwards or wrong. Mate, your male and females together, and this thing is going. Now, the power, I mean, the, 
The signal has run to that, and I'm fixed to run the power cord now. Now here again, your power. Just a normal three-pong plug into your outlet. Go down to your power, your battery supply. Now, here we go. There's your female. There's your male. They go together. The other end goes over yonder. So it, it's almost impossible to hook it up backwards if you just stop and look at it. Now, after running the power from here around the edge of the house, right on around, all the way across, I cut the corner right by the bricks, come around and ran it through the same place as I ran the other one, trying to protect the cord. I still have this much left. So I'm gonna have to uh, do some engineering here. Okay, I finally made the last connection. The excess, I bolted it up, wall tight, what tied it, put it in, made the connections underneath right here, and closed the door. She should be ready to go right now, except for the, uh, whew, the internet part. So I'm fixing to get my friend over here and we'll take it from there. That'll be the next video.